Hello and welcome to Social Church. We couldn't be any more excited to be recording the testimony of Kevin J. Van Hooser today. Kevin, as you will know, is an excellent author and theologian. I can't wait to hear this. Over to you, Dr. Van Hooser. So my name is Kevin Van Hooser. I teach theology in the United States. I've been a Christian for as long as I can remember. But my parents sent me off, uh, not being Christians themselves, but when I was a small boy to Sunday school at church because they thought that was the proper thing to do. Little did they know that when I would hear the Bible stories that I would come back and ask them hard questions. I was three years old, and I asked my mother questions about God and life that she couldn't answer. They were a child's questions, but they got her thinking, and she for herself had to read the Bible to get the answers. And in doing so, she became convicted that she was not right with God, that she had just put lots of questions to one side and never dealt with them. So it was thanks to my questioning as a three-year-old that my mother actually came to saving knowledge of God and devoted her life to following Jesus Christ. And that was before I can, I don't have conscious memories of that, but from that point on, I think we can say I was raised in a Christian home. And for me, that meant that the, the Word of God was my touchstone for determining what was real and how to live. And again, as a child, I didn't understand everything, but I had a relationship with the living God from as long as I can remember. And my testimony, I suppose, is that that living God whom I met as a child has has never let me go. His word continues to be the touchstone by which I think about things that are of value, of real. I, I try to obey his word. I trust his word. And I have to say his word has been an active part of my life. I, I am in dialogue with the living God. He addresses me. I address him in prayer. My testimony then is that the word of God never fails. For as long as I remember, it has been there. He has been there uh, speaking to me, encouraging me, challenging me, directing me, rebuking me at times when necessary. Um, This is the word. Now, the word I'm talking about is the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's a good word. It's news that God is not simply a spectator looking down upon the world and judging characters, but rather his word, this active word that's been active in my life, this word of God, um, which is God himself, took on human form and lived a real human life. This is the story of Jesus. And I believe that uh, Jesus took on the human condition in order to put it right, in order to put us right with God. So this gospel story is news that God did not stand by indifferently watching human beings get lost and confused and destroy themselves, but uh, joined in the action, played a crucial part, and through the life of Jesus, through his perfect obedience, through the sacrifice of his life on the cross, has established a new relationship with the Father. So the the gospel is this good news that God has reached out to human beings in all their lostness and their rebellion and embraced us with what we could call his two hands, his Son, Jesus Christ, and his Spirit. And we are caught up in this loving embrace that will not let us go. And that is the gospel. Thank you, Dr. Van Hooser. That's brilliant. If you would like to record your testimony and have it featured on Social Church, then we'd love to hear from you. You can contact us via our website, www.wearesocialchurch.com. Alternatively, contact us via any of our social media platforms. Thanks a lot for listening today. Bye for now.